People these days don't even think about where their waste is going. They think, well, it must be going to a garbage dump or to a recycling facility. But what many of them don't know is that some of their waste is going into rivers, polluting them with industrial and waste created by humans. The Chesapeake Bay has been polluted for a very long time. It has been polluted with a variety of chemicals such as mercury and polychlorinated biphenyls, which act as a flame retardant in electrical equipment. The Chesapeake is very dear to me, or at least a part of the Chesapeake. Is. The Potomac River. This place was always fun to go to, whether it was swimming in it or boating in it. We used to boat in it because our family friends that lived across the street from us owned a speedboat there. My brother, my best friend, and my best friend's sister used to all go out on a raft and tried to stay on it as long as possible. Like I said before, I don't live in the US anymore. But people are complaining as to how polluted the Potomac is even though they have never seen the amount of pollution in the Ganges. While the Potomac and its tributaries contribute just 25% of the water flow to the Chesapeake Bay, they are responsible for 28% of the nitrogen, 33% of the phosphorus, and 34% of the total sediment. This is nothing compared to what the Ganges has. But People in the U.S. are still scared to swim in the Potomac. This problem needs to be resolved. There is a massive population that survives off the Potomac. They swim, they drink, and they bathe in it. Because of this happening, the Alice Fergus Foundation has started their 25th annual Potomac River watershed cleanup. A good solution to this problem would be if a bunch of NGOs partnered up and together cleaned up the Potomac River. But if this problem doesn't get fixed and the Potomac stays polluted, I would get extremely sad because of all the fun memories I've had there.